Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to install some fonts. So I've had a lot of questions recently about how to download fonts and how to install them on your computer. So I thought I would address it and show you in a video because there are a few different steps here. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is you need to figure out which fonts you actually want. Um, you can literally you can find thousands of fonts um, on the internet, but uh, Teachers Pay Teachers is a great place to start with some uh, with some new fonts and some pretty cool fonts as well. So um, I'm just going to go to one of my favorite um, font creators, um, KG Fonts. Uh, so if I go to her store. I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to find one that I actually don't have yet. I really like this one. I think she just added it not too long ago. So um, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the font that I want to download. Uh, there's a little button over here on the side, and everyone knows this from shopping on Teachers Pay Teachers, uh, to download now. So I'm going to do that. Hers are free. Um, KG fonts are uh, free as long as you're using them for personal reasons and classroom reasons. Uh, so if you're using them for if you're using them for other purposes, if you're using them to sell on Teachers Pay Teachers, unfortunately, uh, well, not unfortunately, but you do need to pay for those. Um, but if you're going to use it just for yourself and for your classroom, you don't need to pay. So uh, let's go ahead. So you'll notice that it downloads a zip drive. Okay, basically a zip drive. What it is, it just condenses the file because it is a larger file. So I'm going to click on that. <clears throat> it opens it up. And then it says uh, there's a little uh, folder here, and then over on the right hand side, up in the top left or on the top right hand corner, it says extract file. So I'm going to click on extract all. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and now it's going to choose where that's stored to. So it's going to save it to my computer. It's going to unzip the file, and, and it's going to give me that full file um, with the fonts inside. But I need to say where I want that to go. So I'm going to do browse over here on the right hand side. And for now, I'm just going to save that to my desktop, just so I know where it is. So definitely save it where you know where it is. Okay, that's that's probably one of the most important things. So uh, I'm going to save that on my desktop. I can see it here. I'm going to say select folder. I'm going to extract that file. And in just a couple of seconds, it is downloading. It's unzipping the file. That's going to be open. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to my desktop and get rid of all this clutter that I have here. Perfect. Um, and I see this is the folder right here. So it says KG Life is Messy, which is the font that I actually downloaded. Okay, so I'm going to open up that file. And on the inside, there's only two things. So there's one, KG Fonts, the terms of use. So that just tells you a little bit more about um, how KG Fonts says that you can actually use the font. Um, and like I said, it basically says you can use it for personal reasons for free, but if you want to use it to sell things on Teachers Pay Teachers, you do need to pay her for the license. And I'm pretty sure that, and you can double check, but I'm pretty sure it's like $5 a license if you want to use that for um, for other purposes for commercial reasons okay so the other file inside of there it says kg life is messy okay and you can see that right here so don't do anything with it yet um, on your computer what i'm going to do is over here on the the bottom left hand corner most everybody has this if you have windows 10 uh, i'm going to type in fonts and a little folder pops up here this is this is these are the fonts that are installed on your computer so I'm gonna click on that folder where it says fonts and it opens this up and inside of here you're gonna notice that every font that you have on your computer just all the basic ones that come with your computer and I have a bunch of other ones on there as well they're all they're all inside of there so now I'm gonna take this file the one that I just downloaded that's unzipped the KG life is messy I'm gonna take it click it and drag it into this folder. So now you're going to see that it's installing that font. So it took the KG font, it took it from the downloaded file, and it installed it on my computer. And that is basically it. Um, I am going to get rid of these. And let's just open up a new, let's just open up a new publisher file. And let's see. So I just want to make sure that it's installed. So let's do draw text box and we'll make it a little bit bigger and then i'm going to go see that i have kg and they are in alphabetical order which makes it very nice i have a ton of fonts here um let's see kg <clears throat> and we were looking for life is messy there it is perfect so kg life is messy so there is that brand new font uh, that we wanted. So now we can use that. And like I said, I'll just repeat this one more time because I think it is important to say if you're going to use those fonts for personal reasons and for your classroom, that's totally fine. 
but if you are going to use them for commercial reasons, if you're going to start selling things on Teachers Pay Teachers using those fonts, you do have to pay, in, like I said, I believe it is about $5 per font. You can buy a big bundle too, which saves you a lot of money. Um, however, if you just want one or two just to start and, and see how things go, um, they're about $5 each. So that's the process. Um, I will show you a couple of other fonts that I really like. Um, so KG Fonts, she I use most of her fonts, and then the other fonts that I use are from uh, Hello Literacy, and she has Hello Fonts. And this one, again, this one comes with, and let's see, because I know she keeps updating it, 225 different fonts, and there are some awesome fonts in there. Um, Hello Typewriter is one of my favorites. Um, there's um, a few other ones that are just really great uh, for, uh, for, for kids. So with that being said, this one is Hello Fonts, and this one, again, this one is free to download, but if you want to start using it for commercial reasons, uh, it is $40 per license, and you can use all 208 of those in your products. So uh, just a couple of ideas, but that is the, uh, the lowdown. That's the basic idea of how to install a font. Thanks so much.